Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Dole, a.k.a. the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. And this time around, I'm going to give you my very first music review. It's the newest CD. For those of you who didn't see my pickups vid from last weekend, I'm about to present to you my review of the recently released new Taylor Swift album, Lover, which I just finished listening to. But the question is, is this any good, or has Tay Tay given us a disappointing album? Well, let me put it to you this way. No. This is not disappoint. Well, although I am one of those people, I still prefer to race country, but hey, Taylor went in a different direction, and well, this CD proves to have some real good tunage on here. Aside from its singles, Me, and You Need to Calm Down, and of course, the title track, which if you haven't seen the video yet, watch it. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. The title track's actually probably a pretty good song on here, since it was one of three songs on the album that Taylor wrote alone. Now, I still praise some of this and Taylor because of her song ran. Not because that she's pop now, okay? I still like her because of her song grind. And I have to say, she still got it. And this still also, like her previous attempts, when she's kind of got a little bit more spunk in her too, as a matter of fact. I have to admit, this is really good than what I was... Well, I anticipated. I didn't think this was going to be good, like I thought about Reputation, but <sighs> I think this is a pretty good album. Probably, probably not as good as well her earlier her earlier albums or country albums, but still, it's not too bad. And it's, which reminds me, the boy, it's been a year since I last heard from these girls, the Dixie Chicks. They actually appear on. The 12th track, Soon You'll Get Better. And actually, I didn't know they were in the Me music video. Who knew? I didn't. Can you believe that? <laughs> anyway, most of the tracks on this album are pretty good and all. I do think some of those other songs are good. The Archer is pretty good. Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince is real good. Paper Rings, that's pretty cool. London Boy, that's not too bad. You listen closely, you'll actually get to hear a little chat from a couple of London dudes, which those were Idris Elba, who, you know, you may remember him from the Thor movies, and also he was in The Dark Tower, and more recently, Hobbs and Shaw, and James Corden, host of The Late Late Show. Yeah. And uh, Taylor does give a bit of a smoking message in the end of the, the 18th and final track, Daylight. Yes, there's 18 big tracks on here. Daylight's also a song Taylor wrote along. The other song she had written along was Cornelia Street, which that's not too bad. But a lot of the other songs are pretty good, actually. Most of these have a good feel to it. And, well... I don't know what else to say. I do like the artwork here, and well, I'll show the artwork on the back, as you can tell. Yeah, the sparkly pink heart right all over the side of Taylor's face. Yeah, tell me that don't get your sweet homie. Of course, it's what she's got on the cover art. So believe me. Better than someone else's album, but I rather I don't bring up that subject because I don't need to start any controversy or what have you. Thank you very much. But in the end, I think Lover is definitely a very good CD. I think y'all check it out. If you're a diehard Taylor fan, you should know I'm a diehard Taylor fan. So I say definitely get it, unless you already have. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying, but I'm serious about a lot of these songs on here, so, so again, if you're a diehard Taylor fan, 
keep continuing to build up your collection with Lover. It's definitely pretty good, actually. And, like I said, this has more ups than downs. And in the tunage and what have you. But anyway, what did you think of the album? If you have the Lover album, tell me what you thought about it. What's your favorite song from it? Please let, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to my channel as well. But but I would give you a word of warning, though. Do not give me any controversial issues with Taylor messages or anything, or else I'm going to have to remove it. I'm, I'm sorry I have to say this, but this time, for your own good, though, please do not send me anything, write anything bad about Taylor. Okay? I'm dead serious. I know a lot of people may not, have love for Taylor. Sure, she's a sellout, but a good sellout, though, from my point of view, okay? That, and some say she's a sellout. Well, I don't even care, all right? Just get love her if you're a real big Taylor fan like I am. I am one, again, I'm one of her older fans, and this album's very good. Alright, thank you for watching. Again, let me know what you thought about the album or in your favorite song or two was on in the comments section. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.